Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to honor a true champion of the San Fernando Valley, a trailblazer, a leader, y una de las nuestras, the Honorable Cindy Montañez from the city of San Fernando. Cindy and I have had the privilege of representing the Northeast San Fernando Valley for the past 27 years. Cindy is a strong, unwavering community leader who throughout her years of public service has made sure that the voices of the people of the valley are heard and that they have a seat at the table. Cindy have li has lived a quintessential American immigrant story, just like the monarch butterfly. They are bi bicultural and bring beauty to everywhere that they go. She's the proud daughter of Miguel and Margarita Montañez, immigrants from Veracruz and Chihuahua, Mexico. The Montañeses came to the city of San Fernando where Cindy and her five siblings were born and raised. Together, her family pursued the American dream, a dream that includes giving back to the community and the country that has given us so much. Cindy's activism began in 1993 as she pushed to establish the Chicano Studies Department at the University of California, Los Angeles by participating in a 14-day hunger strike. At the age of 25, she won a seat on the San Fernando City Council, and two years later, she became the mayor of that city. Her exceptional leadership extends to the California State Legislature, where Cindy was the youngest woman elected to the California State Assembly at the age of 28 at that time. At the age of 30, she became the first Latina to chair the powerful Assembly Rules Committee. She fought for workers' protections, consumer rights, and health care access. But out of these accomplishments, what Cindy is best known for is her environmental work. She continued her environmental activism to become the CEO of Tree People, one of the largest environmental organizations in all of Southern California. With over three million volunteers, they planted hundreds of thousands of trees from the San Fernando City to Huntington Park. In 2020, she was called back to her role in public service. She returned home to serve as a council member in the city of San Fernando. Cindy is a titan who has worked tirelessly for her community. It is an honor to stand before you today to tell Cindy Montañez's story. And I am not the only one highlighting her and her accomplishments. Last month, the city of San Fernando and the city of Los Angeles voted to rename Pacoima Wash Natural Park, which is shared by both cities, to Cindy Montañez Natural Park. On August 28th, the California State Legislature declared January 19th as Cindy Montañez Day. These distinctions are well-deserved, built on years of tireless service. I just saw Cindy when I had an, a, the privilege to join our community in a celebration to rename Cindy Montañez Natural Park. Cindy was surrounded by dozens and dozens of community members full of love and prayer. It was a beautiful tribute to a hero in our community. For all of this and more, I honor my friend and my hermana, Cindy Montañez. Every time I see a monarch butterfly, I will think of the impact she has had on the tree-lined streets of San Fernando, to the committee rooms of Sacramento, and all across our great state of California. I had the pleasure of meeting Cindy Montañez when she was running for city council for the first time 28 years ago. I remember her coming into my office and saying some of her supporters had abandoned her. And I listened to what she had to say, and I stood up and said, I will support you. What I see in you is someone who's running for the right reasons. You care about the community. And she said, thank you. And that's where she launched her career in 1995. Sometimes in life we meet people and we never know where our journeys are gonna go. But I'm so honored to have called Cindy Montañez my colleague and my friend. I'm so honored to be able to witness one of the first people who got elected to the state legislature out of our community of the San Fernando Valley who could speak to every constituent, both in Spanish and in English. That had never happened before in our community, even though our community of Northeast San Fernando Valley was over 75% Latino by population. Parents like Cindy's parents and my parents who came from Mexico to make a better life for the next generation and the next. Once again, it is my honor to speak before all of you on this beautiful house 
about an amazing, beautiful person, Cindy Montañez. I yield back. Thank you.